So this is just going to be a quick run through of how I play Roka Sieges. It's probably the easiest recurring game mode in the game, as long as you have the right builds for it. I run double save armors, each of them have Special Fighter and Astra. Uh, special Fighter is particularly good because it blocks the enemy Roka from being able to use their special, and their special is very annoying because it can mess up your positioning and do damage to everyone, and you just don't want to have to deal with it if you can avoid it. But Special Fighter also helps charge up Astra really fast, which means that you'll be able to deal out a hell of a lot more damage, which is usually the key to getting to 200,000. If possible, you want to run like some kind of effective damage, because that can be helpful in just reaching that 200,000 threshold a lot more quickly, but because we're dealing with infantry, infantry staff units, there is no effective damage that we can make use of, aside from Poison Dagger, but no one uses Poison Dagger. The other two slots on your team, uh, or on my team, are just generally support. I have Arm um, here, but he's basically just a pair-up legendary with bonus stats for Lissa. Lissa is here because she has Joyous Lantern, which can buff uh, Cecilia and Amelia from anywhere on the field, so I don't have to worry about positioning. Not that positioning really matters, because all we do is just bunch up into a save ball anyway. So what I do once starting the battle is I organize it so that Cecilia and Amelia will both be able to reach the enemy uh, from turn one. And then I just go and have Cecilia attack. That debuffs the enemy. And then I have Amelia go up and attack as well, come up from behind with Peony and attack again. By moving Lissa over to here, I've now bunched all of them up into a square, which means that both Cecilia and Amelia will be covering everyone on the team, protecting them not only from the enemy Roka, but also from any other generic enemies that happen to show up. So Linhart just stayed there and attacked Cecilia, and Cecilia was able to counterattack with quick repost. It means that she'll always be able to double back and do astro damage. I'll just... yeah. I'll turn on the uh, little, like, damage animations just so you can see how much we're doing. So obviously, yeah, that's quite a lot. <laughs> um, I don't need to have, like, I don't need to go and take care of these generic enemies because they are just sitting around, like, they're always going to come and attack us. And because we have our save ball, that means that Amelia is always going to protect us from the melee units. Cecilia is always going to protect us from the ranged units. So we just have to sit there and let them come to us. If they are nearby, I can switch over to Arm and have him snipe an enemy, then switch back to Lissa. And you want to kill as many of those extra enemies as possible, because the uh, for every one you kill, you get an additional boost to your damage, which is going to help you reach 200,000 a lot easier. And this is really the entire strategy. It's very easy, but it does require a very specific build, so I certainly don't expect everyone to be able to make use of it. So here we are on turn 6, and we're already at 150,000 damage. So if not this turn, then next turn we're going to very easily be able to... Alright, so on this enemy phase, Linhart's going to attack us, and that's it. That's all we need to do. So if you can make use of this strategy, it basically turns the entire game mode into a cakewalk. I, like, don't think there's any particular enemy combination that make, can make it particularly dangerous for you. The only instance I can think of is if an enemy has enough attack to deal more than one damage to your units, then it might push them out of special fighter range. But if that happens, like, you just need to make sure you have some residual healing from someone like Rayson to keep everyone topped off. The other issue I could think of is a dazzling staff enemy, and in that case you might have issue uh, being able to deal enough damage on counterattacks to reach the 200,000 threshold, but you might at the very least be able to reach 150,000, which is all you need if all you're going for is the accessories. <laughs> 